Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Today I am going to discuss about VIP scale. That is Visual Infusion Phlebitis Scale, which is the universal scale used in most of the hospital to monitor the IV infusion site. Let's see about that in detail. Visual Infusion Phlebitis Scale was developed by Andrew Jackson. The Visual Infusion Phlebitis Score is a very popular tool for monitoring infusion sites. The IP scale is used for assessment of the early signs of phlebitis along with prompt removal of peripheral intravenous cannulas. For instance, if you insert an IV cannula for a patient, the duration of an IV cannula is for 72 hours. The VIP scale will help you to identify the early signs of phlebitis and it will tell you exactly when you need to remove the cannula. So, what do you mean by phlebitis? As you all know that itis means inflammation, phlebitis means inflammation of a vein and thrombophlebitis. Again, itis means inflammation, phlebitis means inflammation of a vein, thrombus means blood clots. So, thrombophlebitis means inflammation of a vein due to blood clots. Phlebitis is one of the most common complications associated with the insertion of the peripheral venous catheter that is IV cannulation. Let's talk about the types of phlebitis. There are three types of phlebitis. Mechanical phlebitis, chemical phlebitis and infective phlebitis. Mechanical phlebitis means it occurs where the movement of the IV cannula within a vein causes friction and subsequent venous inflammation. For instance, you are going to insert an IV cannula for a patient. You notice that the vein is very small and brittle. So instead of inserting 22 gauge cannula, you are trying to insert 20 gauge cannula. What will happen? Of course, there will be a friction between the needle and your vein. It will end up in inflammation. That is known as mechanical phlebitis. The second one is chemical phlebitis. It occurs due to infusion of chemicals or medications. As you all know that many drugs will have the capability to irritate the vein. For example, concentrated electrolytes or some antibiotics. So because of the medications, the vein is getting inflammation. That is known as chemical phlebitis. The third one is infective phlebitis. It is caused by the introduction of bacteria into the vein. This can happen if we are not following a sterile technique while inserting the cannula or after removing the cannula if the puncture site is not properly secured with dressing. There may be a chance of invasion of microorganisms into the puncture site and it will end up in inflammation of the vein that is known as infective phlebitis. Let's see the signs of phlebitis. First one is pain. Second one is redness or erythema. Erythema means reddening of the skin usually in patches that is severe redness. Third one is swelling and induration. Induration means hardening of soft tissues. So when you touch you can feel hardening of the soft tissues around the IV cannula. And the fourth one is palpable venous scar. So easily you can feel the hard vein. And the last one is pyrexia, that is fever. So this is the VIP scale and the score ranges from 0 to 5. Based upon the signs, we are giving the score. Let's see about that in detail. So first one is if IV site appears healthy, you can give a score of 0. That means no signs of phlebitis, nothing to worry. If one of the signs is evident, either slight pain at the IV site or slight redness near the IV site, then you can give a score of 1. That means possible first sign of phlebitis. So you have to observe the cannula. If 
two of the signs are evident either pain or erythema or swelling so any two of the signs are evident then you can give a score of 2 here this indicates early signs of phlebitis so you have to remove the cannula that is recite the cannula if three signs are evident pain along the path of the cannula erythema and induration then you can give a score of 3 this represents medium stage of phlebitis so we have to remove the cannula and consider treatment so sometimes doctors may prescribe us to give a thromboform ointment or sometimes magnesium sulfate paste dressing so as per doctor's order we have to initiate the treatment if four signs are evident that is pain along the path of the cannula erythema induration and palpable venous cord all these four signs are there then you have to give a score of four this means advanced stage of phlebitis or start of thrombophlebitis so you have to recite the cannula that means remove the cannula and consider treatment as per doctor's order then the last one is five signs are evident if all the five signs are there pain along the path of the cannula erythema induration palpable venous cut along with that pyrexia if all the five signs are evident then you can give a score of five this indicates advanced stage of thrombophlebitis so immediately treatment needs to be started and cannula needs to be removed so here sometimes they may start antibiotic because this is the advanced stage of thrombophlebitis so in short BIP is visual infusion phlebitis score this is the universal tool used to assess the IV infusion site so we have seen what is phlebitis that is inflammation of a vein the types of phlebitis so three types are there the first one is mechanical phlebitis second one is chemical phlebitis and the third one is infective phlebitis then we have seen about the signs of phlebitis that is pain redness or erythema swelling or induration palpable venous cut and the fifth one is pyrexia so the score ranges from 0 to 5 0 means healthy nothing to worry if one sign is present you will give a score of 1 so you have to observe the cannula if two signs are evident you have to give a score of 2 you have to remove the cannula if three signs are evident you have to give a score of 3 then you have to remove the cannula and start the treatment as per doctor's order if four signs are evident you have to give a score of 4 remove the cannula and initiate the treatment if all the five signs are evident you have to give a score of 5 initiate the treatment and remove the cannula so i hope this would be very helpful for you guys if you feel the same kindly share to your friends and subscribe my channel my channel name is jebin shine don't forget to press the bell icon button so that you will get the notifications whenever i am uploading new videos thank you so much for watching see you all again with one more topic until then it's bye from jebin bye bye take care